morning, people. You with C7, the HOA homesteader, and it's time for another weekly beehive inspection. Uh, if you followed me from last week, you know that I saw a small hive beetle inside my hive. So today, in preparation for that, I uh, got two traps together that I'm going to place inside of the hive. And you also, if you've been following, following me, you know that I've been struggling to find my queen. However, I see the bees are still here. So I believe she's still in there. So uh, that's the two things I'm gonna be doing, placing in the uh, small high beetle traps and hopefully successfully finding my queen this week. And with that said, that's what this week's weekly inspection will be all about. So let me go get my smoker, get my clothes on and I'll be back with you. Stay tuned people. And thank you for vi in advance for visiting my channel. Last week I spilled some of the uh, sugar water on this and now we got an ant problem. But the bees should be able to fend them off. But nonetheless, little mistakes like that could create additional problems. I can see lots of larvae curled up in uh, these cells, so that's a good sign. I mean, she's got to be in there working and still laying eggs because I can see the larvae. There she is. Right. See her? So now she's been operating in the top box. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. There's my small high beetle trap. It's a little olive oil, apple cider vinegar in the middle. Let's hope that catches some of them beetles.
almost jumped the gun. I need to get down in that bottom box and see if they what they did with those queen cells. I was just gonna, since I swatted the queen, I was just gonna close it up here, but now I have an inkling to go ahead and do a total inspection and get down to that bottom box. All right, family, that's it. I feel really good about identifying my queen this week, knowing that she was up in the uh, upper box. So she's been productive up there as well. So now I just gotta keep checking to see if she's filling out the uh, empty frames. And I believe my next step after this, once they get 80% full or whatever, I'll add my queen excluder, and then I can finally start adding my honey supers. So, I'm very pleased with this week's inspection. We've got an airplane going over there. Helicopter, I should say. So, I'm very pleased with this week's inspection and looking forward to what's going to be next. Hopefully, you know. And oh, one other thing that I did was I, I smashed that queen cell I looked inside of it really well and there was no larvae or nothing laid inside which is good so I got rid of that thing so let's just see what happens next week I hope you guys return to my channel I thank you for visiting my channel you have been with C7 the HOA homesteader and once again people just because you live in the HOA doesn't mean that you cannot grow food or take care of bees all right thank you see you next week